yeah, just reflecting back on that pulse that came in at that time, I was really completely felt it was natural at that moment. But in hindsight, um, and particularly after COVID, I see that, you know, um, you know, it's, it's pivotal right now. Um, and has been really my whole life. Uh, that pulse is, has never left me. Um, you know, specifically, you know, the, the world, the planetary gathering, um, that was, you know, at the time, like just being in my twenties, I didn't really get the magnitude of it. Um, but over the years and it has other people have used it as a marker for, uh, you know, knowing who the, um, <laughs> who the vets are, uh, the people that attended any kind of harmonic convergence event uh, are considered some of the early early way showers. So that, that's kind of neat from that point of view, but also, um, like I say, it's it's been with me, it's been guiding and, uh, and I've, you know, knowingly and unknowingly included it in, in all of my, uh, experiences I guess from that moment here so I'm super grateful that that moment did occur that I was a part of it and um, yeah that we're here now celebrating together it's great thank you thank you great to have you on board on the other side of my screen we have Susan O'Shea good morning Susan Can you hear me? Kind of coming in and out. You know, you could talk about it. Oops. It's really breaking up, Susan. I'm, I'm finding. I can't understand. Anybody else getting it clear? No. No. Did you did you move something or can you move to a different spot or? Her microphone is off. <laughs> okay. Is that better? That's better. Oh, yes. oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we can't see you, but we can hear you. Yeah, um, I'm here. I just have a couple of bars. That's why uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we hadn't moved, so uh, it meant that uh, I could get a bit of reception here. So we're on our, on our sailboat in uh, on the west coast of BC here. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd because um, because <laughs> it was here and I had a few bars, I could I could uh, vibe in here and. Uh, Yes, harmonic convergent was definitely an amazing uh, focus on my life, uh, just way back at that time. And uh, I feel like I've been doing ceremony and ritual and practicing what we what we preached at that time when we put out there the seeds of uh, healing ourselves and healing the planet. So uh, 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 I still feel everywhere we go in our boat. I uh, give uh, sacred water to the oceans and on specific days, I'll do ceremony here on the land. So I've been, uh, we've been up to Alaska and back here over the last three months. So we've been on our boat four months. So um, I feel like um, I'm still um, planting the seeds of love to uh, the planet. So, and uh through that, through my partnership and, and through my friends and Tracy and I have been connected since around that time and before. So we have a 37 year relationship, <laughs> still going strong and uh, uh, known great Dwayne that time long too, but don't see him as much. But anyway, it's uh, been an inspiration for my life. And, and uh, yeah, I feel we were the seed, the seed people panning those seeds and, uh, uh, we got a long way to go still, but anyway, we're doing it. That's good for me. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Susan. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Who would like to go next? I 
everybody shy? Shy. <laughs> so Barbara, where were you Hi. for chronic convergence? <laughs> <laughs> I was I think I moved to Fuerteventura seventy six, no? 87. 87. 87. 87. Yeah, I moved because Aureli was born at 84. That's when he was born and he was two and a half. Right, exactly. So I moved to Fuerteventura. Which is where you are now. Back and forth on this windy island where it's very hot right now. <laughs> Surrounded by dolphins. Yeah. yeah, great. It just We just had a rescue. Uh, some people from here, they rescued a big whale from net. From He was entangled. Oh, beautiful. So they really uh, opened it and so he could get out. So I was really proud of the people who live here that they can handle something like that. Mm -hmm. hmm. Great. Freed, you know, <laughs> free <laughs> to be freed of entanglement is a great thing. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the dolphins really um, we connect more and more with the dolphins in a way because, like, when we do acts like this to to free them, I think they memorize it. <clears throat> and um, and they dare to come and communicate with us more and more when they see we can sort of we sort of are good energy. <laughs> right on. Dolphin energy, yeah. <laughs> good morning, Tom. Welcome. So uh, anybody else with a specifically harmonic convergence story? Yeah, yeah I can go. I, <laughs> I was uh, living in Calgary at that time, and uh, I was uh, one of the person in the crowd who was walking up to Yamnuska. It was a very special time of walking up there with our drum, Watching the sunrise and and feeling that sensation of uh, connecting to like-minded people through uh, synchronicity. I think that was the magazine at that time, and it was for synchronicity and the synergy breakfast. And I think that's where I met Suzanne and Tracy. And uh, yeah, it's. Um, it was a magical time to, to connect to like-minded people and um, being part of that. Um, I call it the shamanic journey because it was, uh, I think it started my shamanic journey at that time. And then um, I was involved with other groups and drumming and going out to Dwayne home. And yeah, so it is... It is quite interesting to see that 36 years went by. So I just want to say, wow, and now we are here and we are using this amazing um, <clears throat> technology and, and uh, reflecting and, and uh, still um, well, being, um, being in love with, with each other, being in love with the planet, the animals, and magical time. So. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Eighty-seven. Uh, I was 
busy with uh, family and future. And I was uh, just designing to build a house in South Calgary. Mm -hmm. And I see that the harmonic convergence was about the ending of the nine hell cycles. But it felt like me, for me, I was just about to hit the wall and hell was about to start. So I was a little pre harmonic convergence at that time. I have I wasn't I wasn't awake at all. It was just starting to emerge, but uh, the uh, the trauma had to arrive first. It seemed like, and uh, but I made it through that dark period, and uh, I met. Uh, Sophia and I met Dwayne and uh, I've been having fun and joy and uh, personal development and Vipassana ever since. So it was around that time that that's when things opened for me. I wasn't there. I eventually went out to Yamnuska and, and that, but then met uh, Dwayne's group and learned about my my temple of the uh, monkeys, artists, and tricksters, and then went to clown school, and things unfolded from there. So it's been uh, a wonderful 36 years. 36. <laughs> yeah, I can go next. <clears throat> So I remember taking a carload of people to that um, <laughs> event on the, and we we were going to watch the sunrise and it didn't quite make it. So we all pulled off to the side of the road and climbed our own hill and watched the sun come up. <laughs> and then we continued on to where everybody else was. And it was and it felt like the world was new. Mm. I remember yeah. everything feeling golden. You know, it just, it just felt like it was new. And um, I've been reading, rereading the Cryon material, the Cryon books. And uh, it's a channeled, you know, Cryon was channeled by Lee Carroll, right? And he keeps referring to the harmonic convergence as the, the moment when the powers that be knew that humanity had advanced enough that they didn't have to be destroyed by that comet it was really interesting you know because he he keeps referring to that as the beginning of a whole new a whole new thing right and and i i did um new moon gatherings about six of them for about 20 years and we used jose Arguelles's um the uh no rudyard's Roger stuff right and uh it i still now send out moon mails because i'm in victoria now i'm not in calgary anymore and um so i still do that but rereading the cryon material and about harmonic convergence and that feeling of newness that was that day you know because we all came back to my my back deck and people that hadn't talked to each other for a while were there talking. <laughs> so it it was just it was just such an amazing time, and it, it's a marker for me too. It's like that was a new beginning. So I'm delighted that you pulled this thing together, Dwayne. It's just great. <laughs> hey, Mary Jo. Hi. <laughs> That's so neat. Hello, Mary Jo. There she is. <laughs> hey, I have to get organized. I'm moving around a bit here, but good morning, everybody. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> Get the dirt off. No, the sprinkler is over the nose portion. Is that what you can use? I'm going to use the nozzle. Okay. 
the wash job. Maybe while we're waiting for her, Thomas, do you have any words for us? Oh, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tom. Hello, Thomas. Hello. So, <laughs> the door, the doors are cool. <laughs> the one door opens, the other one closes. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. Here we are. Can you hear us? Hi, Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, I see Thomas left a message in the chat that he doesn't have uh, volume. His microphone he's trying to find. Huh. I have volume now, if you can hear me. There you yep. go. There you go. Very good. Hi. Speak that we may see thee. <laughs> yes, I, I think you will. Tracy Grams. Wow. Oh. Hi. And and where are you, Mary Jo? I'm I'm on my deck in Nanaimo. I'm just gonna get something to show you because <laughs> so, Dwayne. Yeah. I see it says here Susan O'Shea's iPhone. Is she online? She is. She's <laughs> she has been whether she is right in this moment I'm not sure and it's cool that people are all over the place and we can have a meeting this, I'm st still a newbie to all this technology <laughs> <laughs> it's magic it is, so, it is. So Susan has her microphone turned off I don't know if she's here but and Tracy has her microphone turned off I'm here. I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes. We okay. I don't know why it goes off. It goes off and then I push a button and it goes just, on again. Just <laughs> muting so that the background noise doesn't interrupt. Oh, right. Oh, I have a plane Mary coming Joe over. Just... Oh. <laughs> That's why I was <laughs> muting. <laughs> can you hear the plane? No. 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 <laughs> I met Dwayne and Sue. Oh, 1984, maybe? Yeah, 40 years ago. <laughs> wow. Hello, neighbor. Thank you so much. Four. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, I'm doing a Zoom meeting. <laughs> I don't know how to do them. <laughs> Thank you later. So Tracy, if I'm remembering right, you had two little boys, is that right? Yes, two big boys. Oh, God. <laughs> well, but every, everybody's going around talking about their um, harmonic convergence moment and what was that was like for them from then to now. So we're kind of doing that, going around the circle thing. So here's the feather for you, Mary Jo. Oh, well, I was in Edmonton at the Fringe Festival on Harmonic Convergence and with Miles, my first husband. And we had little girls that were at a dance camp. And the, it was a pretty magical time, you know, with performance and little girls and... Um, 
So I wasn't with you guys in Calgary or outside of Calgary, but I did a lot of gatherings with Dwayne back yeah. in the day. And, and actually once rode up to somewhere, and and asked us maybe on the back of his motorcycle. So, and it just shocked my father, no end. He saw us ride off. <laughs> and, uh, and I still have some of the... I think, Tracy, your, your husband made a uh, beautiful stone... Uh, a sort of medicine circle, like little sculpture thing. Um, and I just went to find it, but I, it's not where I thought it was. But lots of strong memories of the earth medicine and the people and the gatherings and the, the potency of our uh, faith in the potential of people coming together, which seems to be, I'm doing something with paper right now that's why i keep looking down um the potency of of our co-creations together and it seems like it's time for that to come up again so that's what i have to say pass the feather mm. oh just a second yeah, Dwayne, do you you must know where Sue is uh, located? She's bobbing up and down on the Pacific Ocean somewhere. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. What? She just go for sale, or she live on a been on sailing a... for the last three or four months. I think. Wow! And her signal's kind of in and out, so. Well, no wonder. <laughs> Wow. Where does she live otherwise? Uh, you... I think Victoria, is it? Victoria? Okay, on the island. Tracy, you probably know. Susan lives in Bright Creek. Oh, she's still in Bright Creek. Okay. What? She's still in Bright she's Creek? In Bright... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So close. Yeah. I'll have. Do you have her phone? Well, you must have her phone number, Dwayne. Do you? I don't. Oh, I'll have to try and track her down. Well, when she gets back, I guess. That's where I met she just... Dwayne and Sue. Hmm. Bread Creek. Yeah, definitely. And I remember. I don't know if it was She's part obvious. of harmonic. I don't know if it was part of Harmonic Convergence, but we went up to Grassy Lakes and Dwayne and another person dropped a crystal into the lake. And then, I don't know, it was almost immediately after, there was a huge clap of thunder and a downpour and we uh, took shelter in a cave right by the lake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so glad you bring that story up. That was an incredible encounter. Yeah. It was. That was one of seven crystal plantings we did prior to harmonic conversion. Oh, right. Seven That's different the only sites. One. And that That's one, the only was one I went. particularly <laughs> dynamic. Yeah. Deanna Giesbrecht um, and I. And we had we had actually grown up in Hillhurst. And had gone to the same elementary school, and then oh. after all these years, you know, we we'd met up a little bit, but then we, we came together at that ceremony, and it, it was the two of us that took the the crystal out into the ice cold water. Oh, unbelievably yes. cold! Wow. Yeah. yeah, you you and Sue had Earth Medicine Co-op then. And Tracy and uh, yeah, a whole bunch of other folks there. Was... Yeah, Julie Walker was there. I still, still in touch with her through Facebook. Yeah. And she she has followed her her heart with uh, developing knowledge of native plants and and the indigenous uh, wisdom. Yeah, I'm 
So, yeah, weren't those I, seats we had with the Earth Medicine Co-op, weren't they rich? The which? The meetings? The meetings, the uh, the, the potluck suppers oh. we used to have, and then the speakers yes. and, and so on. It was yes, it was fantastic. Yep. And all the drumming. <laughs> oh yes, drumming circles. I've I've gotten away from all that in my journey, so it's good to have these memories return. Then I I just turned sixty five a week ago, and so I'm doing some reflecting. Well, I'll be turning uh, seventy five in February, and I've been doing some reflecting too. <laughs> Oh. And and trying to pull together, uh, I guess the legacy of the knowledge that I've gathered and that I have kind of have been promoting as the lightning path. And yes, there's a, a real hey, Dwayne? Whoops, Dwayne. Dwayne, can you, can you get everyone to mute because somebody got some TV or radio on in the background and oh. it's hard to hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you guys uh, mute everybody mute? On that? That'd, be, that'd be great. <laughs> if I could figure out. <laughs> it's on the lower there left. You go. I did it. I'm just going to go here. And, um, in preparation for this call, uh, I've created a, a presentation, and I don't expect you to all necessarily <laughs> stick around but uh as has been the the protocol with our new moon calls someone gives a presentation and uh, there was no one stepping up for this particular one so i i have stepped up and it's it's in line with my quest to consolidate my understanding of not only harmonic convergence but of, of the much larger yeah. teaching that our has brought through um and other people, of course, but uh, specifically him. So uh, unless uh, anybody has a particular uh, story or whatever they'd like to share, uh, I'll suggest that I go into my presentation and then uh, we could have more discussion afterwards. Uh, does that seem okay? Yep. Great. Yep. Great. Thank you. Okay, so screen. So can everybody hear me? I guess we're good. No. <laughs> Let's see. You know, I just have one suggestion. You're recording this, right, Dwayne? Uh, yes. Yeah, so the quality of the recording will be better if we turn off our videos for now. So it's it's beside the microphone on the lower left. You don't have to, but it just makes for a better recording, better, higher quality. But you say turn off. This is a very visual presentation, so. Yeah, not yours. No, it just takes our faces away. Oh, I see. It's our own videos. And and that way you've got more streaming power on your end. So oh, we'll okay. be seeing you and we can hear you. So I have my video turned off right now and I'm looking at your slide. Oh, okay. Great. Well, folks can do what they want there with that. Okay, so uh, uh, Tom brought up the, uh, the crystal planning we did at uh, Grassy Lakes which is just across the valley uh, in Canmore um, from this phenomenon, which is the, uh, the rock people <laughs> that uh, still lives on to this day uh, with uh, all kinds of uh, homes encroaching <laughs> uh, up there in Canmore. But uh, this was the final uh, a photo from the final crystal planting we did uh, which was at that site. And uh, I mean, it was just such a glorious time. That whole uh, series of seven uh, crystal plantings and uh, 
and all those meetings prior to harmonic conversions. So Jose Arguez was the initiator of harmonic convergence. Jose was a uh, kind of a renegade art historian, um, transformational artist, um, very uh, intelligent and uh, a master of the, the Mayan calendar. And when it came to uh, harmonic convergence, you know, he got the call somewhere when he was driving in, uh, I think it was in uh, Los Angeles. And uh, he suddenly got the impulse that Tracy was talking about earlier. And uh, as he said, at one point, a vibrational signal was set out, sent out. The signal was go back to the earth. If you want peace on this planet, go back to the earth. And from that point on, you know, he uh, uh, and his wife, uh, Lloydine, uh, networked the prospect of this global uh, harmonic convergence ceremony, which according to his reading of the Mayan calendar was uh, an appropriate uh, observance for the time. And uh, I caught wind of that early on um, and uh, became the Calgary area coordinator for the ceremony. Um, people did likewise all over the planet. And uh, it was the simultaneous convergence of all of us that was so special. Uh, you know, to be in this group here at Yamnuska and know that people all over the planet, hundreds of thousands of people were doing the same sort of thing uh, at uh, sacred sites of their own choosing. And they were many and glorious. Um, and just to, to share the text here, at sunrise on the morning of August 16th, 1987, harmonic convergence unfolded as a dramatic wave of earth renewal rites washing across the face of the planet with representation from every race and from a vast array of spiritual and religious traditions People performed peaceful ceremonies at sacred sites as diverse as Ayers Rock, Mount Shasta, Jericho Beach, Stonehenge, Teotihuacan, Giza, and Machu Picchu. United in a single act of spiritual intent and without government support of any kind, this relatively small group of self-empowered individuals created a compelling experience. experience. And I just looked at of unity that seeded the mind of humanity with a vision of planetary peace and harmony. <laughs> Harmonic convergence consolidated many of the Earth-centric values previously made manifest in a wide variety of globally orchestrated events. These included the annual Earth Day celebrations begun in 1970, the first Planetary Congress, June 1983, Live Aid, July 13, 1985, the Great Peace March, March to November 1986, the Goodwill Games, Summer 1986, and the World Healing Day, Instant of Cooperation, Global Meditation, December 31, 1986. Through a wide diversity of means, these events constituted the very earliest expressions of what is now emerging as a global civil society, often referred to simply as Earth community. The dream of harmonic convergence. Extensive media coverage of harmonic convergence was instrumental in alerting millions of people to the worldwide emergence of a pan-cultural spiritual community. For its many participants, the event substantiated this, the tangible feeling that a collective dream, the dream of harmonic convergence, was now materializing as a spiritual ally to humanity. Consequently, for the thousands of individuals and groups ignited to action by its compelling vision, life would never be quite the same. 
we had passed through a doorway of initiation into a brave new world of possibility. For the moment, it was mission accomplished. The seed vision of harmonic convergence had been consolidated and sown into the collective imagination of humanity. The lightning path. As one who participated wholeheartedly in harmonic convergence, and more importantly, as one who continues to resonate with its central intent, I offer up what I call the lightning path as a practical means of advancing fulfillment of the dream of harmonic convergence. Through astro mythological divination of timely and appropriate action, both individually and collectively, the path's cyclic frame of reference provides practical guidance to anyone seeking it. Acting on that guidance constitutes entry into the mythological dimension of life. <laughs> Harmonic convergence and the fulfillment of prophecy. Harmonic convergence fulfilled ancient prophecy from many world traditions as it united sacred warriors of the heart worldwide. Most prominent among these prophecies was the return of feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl, mythic Mesoamerican icon of civilization created in peaceful attunement to cosmic order. Mm -hmm. The myth of the feathered serpent represents the potential for humanity to move beyond ego-driven divisive consciousness into a more harmonious and interconnected way of living. The myth serves as a central theme in Arguea's teachings, emphasizing the importance of spiritual evolution, cosmic awareness, and the role of ancient wisdom in guiding humanity toward a more enlightened future. The diagram on the left is a, uh, an array of the planets of our solar system according to the length of duration of their orbits around the sun. And this is a, a metaphor for the, the different stages of consciousness that we go through on our way to becoming uh, completely um, um, aligned with our solar purpose and the, what the center of the galaxy has for us. My own introduction to the myth of the feathered serpent came in 1972 through an inspiring article by Jose Arguez titled, Some Notes from the Organic Revolutionary's Handbook. Now Arguez, uh, in the years after that, created these two uh, books and were instrumental in uh, manifesting uh, harmonic convergence. Uh, someone needs to uh, mute their their feed, please. We're getting weird noises. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, those two books, harmonic, uh, the Earth Ascending. In 1986, no, 1985, and the Mind Factor, which came out just prior to Harmonic Convergence in 1987. Um, these were the foundation works for the, let's say, the esoteric side of, hum of Harmonic Convergence. Everything you ever wanted to know about the Mayan sacred calendar and more. And um, I got on track with, um, Arguez's book, Earth Ascending, there in 1985. And by the time I finished reading it, I was I was on fire with the same um, impulse as he had been putting out. And um, um, since 1972, I had been uh, keeping a, a lunation journal, which means I was, was consciously uh, journaling according to the phases of the moon. And um, I came to a point after having read Earth ascending uh, and understanding the nature of the, the Mayan Sulking calendar. Uh, with that awareness, uh, I was prepared 
for an unexpected uh, download, as I call it, of uh, energy and information related to that uh, Mayan sacred calendar. And it, what I saw was that uh, the, the lunation journaling that I was practicing was actually contained in a much greater pattern of connection. And that greater pattern of connection was the soul king, the grid of uh, 13 numbers and 20 hieroglyphs. Now, every 13 uh, uh, moons, we have um, a constellation of many different elements. Um, all are geared to um, teaching us and encouraging us in uh, manifestation of a light body presence. And these are, uh, as we we'll, uh, we might say, they're uh, um, instructions as to how to work with uh, the Kundalini energy, which is located at uh, the base of the spine, in the, what's called the root chakra. Uh, it's a matter of raising that energy up and through the other centers and on the path to enlightenment. Um, the Hopi Indians, um, like the Maya, as we see here with the Hopi shield on the left and the, the Mayan representation of the root chakra on the right. Um, in my way of thinking, these are both referring to the same sort of thing. And that is the this, this rootedness uh, in consciousness at the, the, the base chakra. It's a universal meeting ground for us all. And it just happens that the astrological representation of the whole earth is this uh, symbol on the bottom right hand. So that uh, experience I had in 1986 um, blew a hole open into the, the Uranian uh, domain of consciousness. And uh, I have since then brought my artistic skills to bear on the knowledge that I've gained. And um, I continue to do that to this day. And uh, it's become, um, uh, there were, there's so much material that I had to start kind of wrapping it up in some form that could be easily related to. So I came up with this notion of the lightning path. And it just happens that lightning and Uranus are, uh, are very much um, aligned and transformation and, uh, and so on. So what we're, we're looking at here is... Um, if someone still has uh, their mics on, mic on, could you please uh, mute everybody? We're getting background stuff. Um, there's the, the red, I'll call them the uh, temples, are, um, these are the, what, what's shown here are, are 21 years of, of travel around um, the sun aligned with Uranus. Uh, Uranus takes 84 years to orbit the sun. And uh, each of these um, Mayan seasons or Sulkin seasons uh, is 21 years. So we have this match for 21 year seasons uh, equal one orbit of Uranus. So this is a, a connection to Uranus, uh, you know, relating the, the, the Maya Sulkin grid to Uranus, the orbit of Uranus. This, as I understand it, is a novel realization. So I've, I've, I've come on to this knowledge uh, through direct experience, and it's up to me to get it out to the world if there's anything there to be shared. And that's largely what I've been doing for all these years. So 
So the astrology, my version of astrology, lightning path astrology, serves the myth of the feathered serpent. So here is the um, the orbit of Uranus around the sun. There's me on the left side there, identifying as uh, Mr. Natural. On March 3rd, 1986, that's when I stepped foot on this, this lightning path. Uh, that particular moon cycle was accompanied by um, Halley's Comet. And also uh, Voyager 2 was right at that time passing by Uranus and sending back to Earth images and information that uh, we had never, ever encountered before. So it's really quite a momentous uh, time. And uh, uh, it's only been, uh, you know, it was only several years later, actually, that I realized the connection to the orbit of Uranus. So for the first, um, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 years, I wasn't aware of that connection. But since that time, and having stayed on the path, uh, more and more has been revealed. And this particular revelation was has been particularly significant. Where are we now? Here we are. And as Arguella says, as more of us learn to navigate the galactic median, through skilled use of resonant harmonic frequencies, we will merge into the greater life. Another quote from Arguez, the essence of information is not its content, but its resonance. This is why feeling or sensing things is so important. To sense the resonance of incoming information co-creates a resonant field. So on the left, we have an image from, I believe it's the Mayan factor. And this is, you know, the, the big view of, of the whole cosmology that Arguez has brought through. And the way of connecting with the information that is coded into an image like this is through resonance harmonic resonance. So I just want to um, bring emphasis to that. What we're dealing with is resonant attunement, which is different than, than book knowledge and different uh, than what you know has been written down previous. This is about direct one-to-one -one experience. So resonant attunement involves tuning into cosmic energies through practices like meditation, visualization, and intention setting. By consciously aligning one's thoughts, intentions, and actions with the greater cosmic patterns, one can attune oneself to higher levels of consciousness and thereby access deeper insights and wisdom. Arguez often linked his concept of resonant attunement to the Mayan calendar and its cycles. He believed that by following the rhythms of the calendar and participating in events like harmonic convergence, individuals could amplify their resonant attunement and contribute to the collective evolution of consciousness. So here we have it, the, the, the core uh, Mayan calendar uh, sulking. This is the, the really abstracted uh, essential core, which is a fractal phenomenon, which means that we can take the same structure and use it at whatever scale is appropriate. And with that knowledge, I entered the Tzolkin grid on the basis of each sector constituting one complete lunar cycle. So at every new moon, we enter a new sector of the Sulkin grid, according to this path. And this is uh, showing then my entry on March 3rd, 1986. Harmonic convergence came in the sixth moon of the, what was called the Temple of Flowers. Um, that's in August 16th, 1987. So, 
I was conscious at that time that harmonic convergence was came, contained within the sector of the Tzolkin uh, that referred to six kawak. Now this is uh, the sixth chakra we're talking about. Whoops, sorry. Um, so I, I'm going into harmonic convergence, aware of and sensitized to the the qualities that we see here. So we're combining a number quality with a hieroglyph quality. So a time for activated intuition, uh, inner wisdom, clarity, imagination, visualization, spiritual insight, psychic abilities, higher consciousness, you know, all of these attributes converged with kawak, cleansing, renewal, fluidity, emotional healing, intuition, nurturing, connection, purification rituals. And as you can imagine, harmonic convergence just slotted right in perfectly with um, the qualities that were being called for with this reading of the calendar. I just want to point out the, uh, the hieroglyph, the hieroglyphic image here is that one of our uh, Barbara's uh, silk paintings. She did all 20 hieroglyphs on silk, and this is the one for, uh, for Kawak. Now, to, to make this a little bit more meaningful and, and up to this present moment, um, we're, we're looking now ahead to where, so where are we now in the calendar journey? We're at a new moon and we're in a lightning path, new moon Zoom call. Now we've done um, 15 of these prior and uh, this is uh, yet another new moon zoom call and this is an ongoing practice for a core group of us uh, we we meet regularly at the new moon and this this is what it's like we, we have a presentation and then we have a discussion and we're we're just keeping with the path so currently we're moving from um Hieroglyph or, or the uh, sector nine can, and uh, which has qualities uh, uh, associated with uh, the seed, especially, and the you know cultivation of dreams and aspirations, allowing them to take root and blossom. Embrace the cycle of growth and honor the divine timing of the universe. Let your intentions manifest and flourish. So I've been very conscious of that hieroglyphic message uh, since New Moon, and, and this very presentation has been a manifestation um, you know, directed by those qualities. And now we go into a new, a new beginning uh, with this New Moon, and we're going into 10 Chikchan, which is a time of manifestation, uh, 10 being the significator of manifestation. So we have a life force emphasis, serpents coil and uncoil, embodying the primal life force that flows through all beings. It is a time to awaken your vital energy and tap into your inner power. Embrace your passions and desires, allowing them to fuel your journey. Connect with the raw instinctual wisdom that resides within and let it guide you. Harness the transformative energy of the serpent and shed your old skin. So this is a message now, which will go out. It's going out to you who are gathered here with me now, but it goes out now to um, my YouTube channel and my BitChute channel. So there are, there have been hundreds of people uh, also getting the same message as we are getting now. So we have the potential to, uh, to be in a, um, a group manifestation of these qualities uh, simultaneously. And um, 
we can give expression to, artistic expression to the qualities, knowing that other artists are doing the same thing all over the planet. This is, this is the vision of, of this kind of work. This is an excerpt from um, a book I'm creating on uh, sharing the qualities associated with each uh, hieroglyph and looking also into the, the shadow side of, of each hieroglyphic dimension. Uh, for example, with uh, Chick Chan, whoops, I'm sorry. Whoa, back. Uh, when we come to Chik Chan, we might want to consider, you know, within the depths of the force of life resides the potential for misuse and destructive power. With the appearance of this glyph in your life at this time, the indication is that now is a prime time for you to confront the shadow aspects of passion and vitality. Be aware of the potential for aggression, manipulation, and the misuse of power that can arise within the realm of Chik Chan. The shadows of Chik Chan whisper impulses and desires that can lead to harm and chaos if left unchecked. Embrace the discomfort of exploring your shadowed desires and confront any tendencies towards dominance or control. Reflect upon the ways in which you express your life force, ensuring that it aligns with integrity and compassion. Slip into the, slip into the depths of your own shadowed power, embracing self-mastery and the responsible use of your energy. Embody discernment and balance as you navigate the shadowed currents of life force, harnessing its transformative potential for healing. So, I have had the great pleasure of uh, expressing the hieroglyphs artistically. Uh, this is one of the images I did a few years ago. Just you know, the intent being to you know help give uh, form to the ideas behind all of this uh, uh, this metaphysical work. Uh, once again, Barbara Nins. And her beautiful silk paintings. This is the one for Chick Chan. Each flower of life created by hand, of course, as are all of the rest of them. Or you might uh, go with Deep Dream Generator and concoct an image according to your text input. This is what I did here. New technology at work. Now this is uh, the front page of my uh, the Lightning Path website. So uh, at every new moon, this image changes. And sometimes there's links to other resources, but primarily it's uh, it's to zero in on, you know, uh, this was the this is the moon we're coming out of nine can, and uh, I've changed this image already. So on today's version of the site, it's it's there. So just to to wrap things up, I'll give the last word to myself. <laughs> I do spy with my little eye, my inner eye. A global tribe of individuals resonantly attuned to the lightning path and honoring each other as sovereign individuals, each with his or her own unique destiny. Art exalted, imagination ignited, peace empowers the people.
There you go, folks. Bravo. Yeah, thank you, Dwayne. Very good. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. great. <laughs> It's always such a journey, you know, when I, I, I now literally have thousands of, of slides and it's just an incredible encounter I have when I'm preparing these. Uh, I always have way more stuff <laughs> to bring in than I, 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 than I do, which I learned way back when in the uh, Earth, uh, when we had our, our potluck suppers, I remember giving a presentation that totally went on and on and on and on and just drove everybody to tears, you know. So <laughs> I've tried to tone it back ever since then. <laughs> well, that's what I felt with our uh, last 15 new moons. I've noticed how it's your presentation has crystallized and it's become clearer and clearer mm -hmm. because like you say, there is so much information available. And um, like, how do I step onto the path? Mm -hmm. How do I get in there? And it's, uh, it's really showing up to be a lot easier to enter. And uh, yeah, I'm really grateful for these past 15, now 16 new moons and all the all the connection from it. And, and you uh, bringing your own artistry forward you know, it has been such a gift. Yeah, that's come through because of this. Yeah. Now with the, uh, the the dream generator, and I have the the five whale oracle that uh, shows up what yeah. happened, in, what's happened in each meeting, and that's been a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, in terms of the harmonic convergence with the, the nine hell cycles ending, I'm all for that. And uh, going from warlike to peaceful, and I know we have that in common from uh, hopefully seeing the consciousness move away from this idiotic warlike mentality to, to peace. And uh, sometimes it's hard to see this uh, this separation structures uh, collapsing. I guess I, I just need more patience for myself mm. and focus more on the artistry and the, the five whale article or oracle. <laughs> okay. well, say more about your oracle. The oracle? Yeah. Oh, well, that's come from the actually from the first meeting what i thought about uh, when we were talking about the the whales and and there's been quite a connection with that just two days ago we were on our way to to uh, the mainland and there was like seven different sightings of uh, humpbacks on the way over and it was just thrilling to be in that yeah. and so from our first meeting 16 months ago i did a watercolor painting of the five whales in our pod of the five of us connecting with them, uh, you with your guitar. And uh, now when I put that original watercolor up into the AI generator, the, the dream generator, and put in the words from our meetings, the terms, just this magic shows up from what has occurred. And, but I keep the same base painting instead of, you know, there's the possibility to add on and add on, but it just gets too, too muddled. So it's fun to just go back to the origin and come with the terms from the meetings. So we'll post that in our chat group on, on the group message. That's been a lot of fun.
Yeah, I think the resonant wave, Dwayne, that image that you had, was it resonant wave or what was it resonant? Anyways, uh, the resonance factor. <laughs> right. I think well, the res resonant resonant really attunement. Attunement, yeah. I think that's really what it's all about. And I think, you know, in the, the darkness that we're seeing right now is is the shadow side of humanity, the shadow side of our consciousness that has to be dredged up, brought to the surface and transmuted so that we can become the harmony, the harmonic wave that you know the the seed that we planted um is still i think trying to burst through the surface of the soil because um you know the amount of force that it takes for that seed to to burst or, or come forth uh, at certain points is pretty pretty nuclear so uh it it it's super frustrating watching the shadow side or the shadow aspect of humanity and our own personal ego selves um, going through the last phases of, you know, Pluto in Capricorn and moving into Aquarius. Like for me personally, my own uh, experience with that has been pretty intense. Like, um, as volatile as what the world is, is experiencing. So for me, it's been a very dramatic last three years of, you know, mirroring internally what's happening externally and also using all of my gifts and talents and, you know, other things that I resonate with to help, help with uh, the transmutation of that, you know. But man, it's uh, it's been a journey for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thanks for that presentation, Dwayne. Kind of gave me a condensed version of of uh, all the years. Although everyone has gone off in their own personal direction of what that resonance or what that pulse. Um, uh, stimulated in them and in, in just in this small group you can see the diversity of all of that so yeah. it's pretty incredible the whole galactic um, consciousness that's been birthed as well at the same time is is uh, you know pretty phenomenal as well so we're all birthing all kinds of different aspects of ourselves and <laughs> having to deal with you know uh, staying in our, our heart alignment, right? Thanks, Tracy. Well said. Dwayne, yeah. Um, is your presentation on your website at all? Uh, it will be. This is being recorded right now. So okay. everything, the whole discussion and, and the presentation will all be wrapped up. And if I'm able to perform as usual, uh, it'll be up later today or tomorrow. Okay, uh, that's great. I definitely need to see it again and <laughs> yeah. slide by slide. Uh, uh, it was intriguing, but because I'm just coming into this today, pretty much, um, I do want to delve into it again. And yes, uh, I definitely plan to call you probably next Monday when I'm in Salmon Arm. And uh, I think we may have a few hours of delightful conversation and <laughs> right on i have many i have many questions of <laughs> of the path that you've been on ever since i met you um i'm just honored and and uh i don't remember how or when we reconnected uh a few years back now 
but thanks to technology and Facebook, uh, that brought our paths back together. And uh, uh, yes, I want to explore further the lightning path and learn more. You, a couple of years ago, you sent me, I think, an excerpt of your book that you've been working on. Yeah. And I wasn't, obviously wasn't ready at the time. I tried to read it and <laughs> I couldn't make sense of it, but uh, we'll talk next week and maybe I can be of some assistance. I know um, as I reflect on my life, one of my great gifts is writing and editing. And I'm also realizing I have a great uh, love of trees and planting trees and that's something that I haven't taken active uh, work or activity upon other than in the little seniors residence community I live in I kind of take care of the trees but I think I think that's part of my passion that that I've more or less ignored or didn't follow from my youth and I'm kind of at a time in my life now where I can um, planning on retiring from work, regular work, and uh, pursue that, as you said in your presentation, the, the passions. So, yeah, we will meet up next wow. week for sure. You bet. God willing. Yeah. yeah. I look forward to it. Thanks for that amazing presentation for me just coming in out of the blue. Uh, even the presentation today, I I put it in my calendar, but I didn't wake up until 10. I could have easily forgotten about it, but I got a little reminder, and otherwise I would have missed all of this. So it's like, yeah, the universe wants me to be connected to you again. Right on. So, yeah, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm I'm curious if if uh, people I'm just curious where everybody's from and if some of the people on the chat today were at Harmonic Convergence uh, here in Calgary back in the day and if they've stayed in touch with you since then. Yeah, and we're neighbors now, Dwayne. <laughs> you neighbor neighbors with my daughter who lives. Oh in, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just um, we're west of where Lytton used to be, right? Uh, across the river. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was at the Calgary event, and um, you know, we've sporadically kept in touch, and I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Yeah. There was a, a downtown component to this ceremony as well. Uh, we had the sunrise ceremony out at Yamnuska. Yeah. And then at high noon, it was the newly <clears throat> opened Olympic Plaza. And they had the semicircular seating. And, yes. Uh, I just planted myself in the center of the circle with my um, bowl and, and sang my, my singing bowl. Mm -hmm. for, I think a half an hour, and that was that was completion for me. And and then and people then just erupted in dance, and we had flowers and, and music, and it was it was wonderful. And I remember um, there was a rainbow formed in the sky above us, <coughs> a semicircular rainbow. <laughs> well, wow. these are, <laughs> but it matched what was on the ground, <laughs> which was really sweet. It was a magical day. It really was. <laughs> and actually, my my parents, my divorced parents, were both there uh, in the crowd, <laughs> which was a, remarkable in itself. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Huh. Lauren, where are you now? Where do you live now? You talking to me? Yes, uh, Lauren, oh. yeah. It says Lauren Grassley on your screen. Oh, oh. that's my, that's, <laughs> that's 
so funny. <laughs> That's no, they're, me. They're, they're, that's them. Yeah. I, I, I'm on all the screens in the house, <laughs> but that's sorry. She's occupying this one. Well, we yeah. want to get you on board here. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell are you? That's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend. And we live in Saanich, just north of Victoria. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I might join you next time. This is your trip. <laughs> <laughs> but but what's your name, partner of Lauren? Sorry. Sorry, Hobbs. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. You might remember her as Coro Daniel. You oh, said that I, name. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think about you a lot. My daughter used to dance with you. Yes, so did Dwayne. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's funny. I I wouldn't have. I knew you quite well, and I I I don't. I didn't make the connection, so I'm glad I asked. Um, it's wonderful to see you. You were a big part of my life. You were my astrologer. <laughs> you yeah. Were, you wow. Of, you know, but, and uh, Dwayne, I I'll just segue into my appreciation for you because you've opened up <laughs> for so many people and planted the seeds of so many things. And I remember when you were on fire with all of this in the very early days of your reading about Jose Argyles and just mm. like getting up early in the morning and straight to the books and drawings. And, and you know, you pull together so much and it, it, it's coming back and I hope it comes back strong in everyone's life. Um, I'm just thinking about what Tracy said about the difficulties right now about the darkness and. I, I heard a beautiful metaphor from an astrologer in England, Pam Gregory, and she said, you're, you're in a play, you're watching the play, and the scenery is collapsing around you and disintegrating and falling, but the actors don't want you to notice that, so they're acting harder and bigger, and just be in your witness, you know, your presence, your high perch, your high vibrations. Um, Dwayne, I took a lot of notes today. Uh, mm. I, I'm, I'm really touched with the timing of this in my personal life as well as in the collective. And it feels really powerful to me um, that we are hearing these words that reflect what's going on for me is the sort of a dropping of a lot of the old patterns. Um, my mom died like a week ago. So oh. I, I'm letting go of a lot of what was, uh, you know, what I wasn't conscious of is coming up now of, of what I created in order not to shock my parents. <laughs> Much as I, 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 I didn't say that very well, but th th that sense of the older generation is gone now. It's like my, my people are all gone from that generation as of last week. And uh, it, it's a kind of, it, grief and loss but it's a kind of freedom as well mm. in that um, it's helping me live my life from a, a perspective that doesn't involve what would my parents think about this which sounds funny for somebody that's as old as i am but i i recognize that it was in there um, i had a really strong experience last night of, of of finding my alignment in a new way because I'm so body oriented because I'm a dancer and a movement person. Um, it, something just came in for me last night of this is where I know this is this is my place of connection to the quantum field. This is this is my truth. It was it was really strong, and so to hear you talk about this today is like really moving for me. You know, out of out of our cultural patterns into this global citizenship, uh, resonant attunement. Um, so very grateful, and mm. really nice to see you. Sorry. <laughs> you oh. too. You too. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. I just want to say uh, thank you, sorry, to saying your real name because I was looking at you and I, I remember you and I say, this person looks to me sorry, hopes. This person doesn't <laughs> look Lord. to me alone. <laughs> So thank you for revealing and bringing back <laughs> memories. I, I remember uh, Sari Hobbs and I well remember Mary Jo Fulmer. Yeah, that name just brings back memories from Calgary, Alberta, as well as Tracy. And uh, yeah, it is like um, magic of 35, 36 years later, meeting these uh, people. And um, yeah, it just shows that um, as um, Mary Jo said, that astrology, you know, Pam Gregory, I listen to her very often and I find her very encouraging to see as we, our job is just, um, doesn't matter what's happening in the world, we just have to keep raising, raising our vibration to the, to the biggest love what but we have. So I, I give you a virtual hug for your uh, grief and your mom. And um, it's um, very magical. I, I, I cherish, actually, I say I cherish COVID because during COVID, I became aware of Zoom. I didn't know, I did know other um, different uh, technology to use, but I think Zoom is really open to me, a uh, global consciousness. And um, I am really seeing uh, two very important elements in this is the leadership. I find the Dwayne leadership and keeping keeping up with the work. And the other word to me is invitation, because uh, you and you invited us last year, and since then we are uh, we. I am saying we because Steve is my husband, so we are keep showing up and Barbara and some other people, like a small group of committed people, like how Margaret Mead uh, um, quote says that a small group of committed are making a big difference. So I, I'm actually excited to see um, familiar faces and uh, Mary Jo and uh, Tracy and, and uh, Sari and I, I am I am inviting you that please come for the new moon meetings, you know, like we have this every new moon and it's magical happens. And Thomas, I don't know if you have time or you can come. It's just wonderful. I am I am taking the initiative to inviting uh, inviting all of you to a group and I think maybe Dwayne can talk about leadership and the uh, power of invitation so thank you thank you i love you all and it's super good to see you again you too <laughs> where where are you located sophia i live in nanaimo nanaimo yes but uh not too far from sorry and i think i heard the mary Jo lives in nanaimo Cool. Yes, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm in Townsite. I'm across from Brecon School. Where do you live? Uh, I live on West Hill. Right at Townsite. Above Townsite, yeah. So not Hoverville. too far. Oh, walk. for heaven's sakes! Well, <laughs> a walk away. Hi, hi neighbors. <laughs> hi neighbors. Walk away. Yeah. Walk away. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so does Steve live in Nanaimo too? Yeah. yeah, he is living in my house. Yeah, no, he's living, <laughs> she's living in my house. <laughs> so we're in different Barbara, rooms. You, Barbara, you've been popping up on the screen. Where do you live? I'm living on Fuerteventura. That's off the coast of Africa. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, yeah, I envy you all. You can all go and visit each other. <laughs> I have to swim with my dolphin energy to come over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that, so, but that, it's that, fun. I, it's, it's so beautiful to see you guys um, being so 
talk to each other. So I hope you guys connect and have a nice, when you meet, have a nice coffee for me as well. Think about me. <laughs> so that would be nice. Thank you. I'm just amazed how technology can bring us so close. <laughs> I, yeah. I have a, I have a friend that lives in Dominica and we can talk through cell phones and video phones. In Germany or what did you say? In Dominica in the Caribbean, I have a friend. Oh, oh Dominic, yeah, right. Yeah, and it's amazing how you can live on on the edge of the world and, yeah. <laughs> and have a conversation. Isn't that great? Still connect, yeah. It's super <laughs> duper in a way. Amazing. Are you happy where you are? Uh, oh, <laughs> yes and no. I always had, uh, I've always resisted a draw to the West Coast, to the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, um, partly because my partner uh, can't really move at the moment or hasn't been able to. So I've stayed put in Calgary. Um, but yeah, I often felt I belong in the West Coast. All right. But I'm I'm gonna go visit, so <laughs> yeah. Where wherever we're planted, I'm realizing we can be in the moment and and exactly. uh you don't connect. we don't even have to go anywhere and that's right. Yeah, wherever we are, we're part of the planet. We're on the planet. Yeah. Nice. So you just retired, didn't you? Well, no, not yet. Um, um, I'm, I'm giving it serious thought. I wasn't going to, when I turned 65, I thought it would work at least another year. But mm -hmm. just since I turned 65, my perspective shifted. And I... I think very I can. Good. Very yeah. good. I, just I can think I can let it go and pursue my passions that I've uh, Great. With kind of ignored kids. for for much of my yeah. life. Yeah, I really so, think yeah. this is a very good idea to plant trees. This is, and, and it, it's never too late to plant trees, you know. No. You were, yeah, you may be a tree planter, but now you are the, the tree planter. <laughs> In your old age, I think this is yep. so cool. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And when you are retired, you... after you retired, you become younger, because you will see how when all this uh, society working thing falls off from you, you're gonna become younger. Oh, that's and... great to hear. <laughs> yeah, I I feel that's the way. You know, when you're sort of let let go of uh, the the, um, the working uh, pressure and all this kind of things, and you find your real passions. That makes us yeah. young and beautiful. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's the soul. It it really gives the soul a kick to blossom. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah, I like that. Very beautiful to plant trees. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. I mean, I'm saying like Sophie, come and join the group. I mean, there's, it's really like, um, it's very satisfying when you sort, sort of go with the flow of the new moon. And then we also have like, sometimes we have full moon meetings. So, but it's like um, uh, something to look forward to in a way, like, you know. Yes. Nice. And give I gives your it. gives your month year a structure, and I, I even though I, I haven't pursued much in the way of uh, the only term I can use is new age thinking or spiritual thinking. Um, I've always been consciously aware of the moon, often notice it 
very often notice it in the sky in the different phases. So yeah, I get I do have that connection, same as Dwayne has has uh, consciously intentionally pursued his entire life since I've known him. Yeah, Can I it feels also like the group is giving each other the 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 advancement, you know, because you see yourself in the others as well. So it's also like something which is like sort of coming up again, like with uh, uh, Bruce and Sophia and Dwayne, you know, it's like, it's amazing how things work differently for you when you sort of connect with, with this, with the group thing. I was never a group person, so I'm really appreciating it now, like you are planting trees. I appreciate group group meetings on Zoom. <laughs> All yeah. right. Oh, I understand because most of my life I've I felt isolated to some degree, and I am an introvert, and so yeah, I never really join groups. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm I really try to avoid groups always. I it scares me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm I'm <laughs> um, I feel sort of strange. But who knows? I mean, everybody has like a a package to carry. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't. I don't believe we fit into the norm of society. Uh, we search and question, and I I know just since I've turned sixty five, it's uh, the day of my birthday. It just felt like another day. It's like means nothing. Um, I had friends create a semi-surprise birthday party, which was nice, but now uh, I am feeling this connection to a new group. And uh, right. that's exciting. That's exciting because that's, that's what I need for the rest of my life is community. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm really looking forward to see you. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I looked up the new moon. I just I thought, well, Dwayne had said it was today, but I looked it up and it it said I, it started at five thirty six a.m. And I was thinking, oh, I'm glad Dwayne didn't schedule this meeting quite at five thirty six. He was probably up at five thirty six, but not me. <laughs> mm. Where you out here, you want to be getting up early to get the cool. We hit 104 yep. yesterday. Yep. Oh, yes. It's hey, can I just here. interrupt for one moment? Um, I, I have to go. Um, Twain, yeah. I'm hoping that we can get contact information for other people through you. Like, can I message you to, to get in touch with Sari and, and uh, Steve and Sophia? Can I yeah. send a message to you on Facebook? Yeah, in the group. Um, well, you have to get in the chat a, message. Yeah, we have a chat, so I'll, I'll put your your address in the chat, and then you'll get everything. Okay, and all you right. Can connect with these guys. Okay, yeah. and thanks everybody. And Wonderful. Bye. bye. Thank bye. you, Mary Jo. Bye. Bye, Mary Jo. Bye. 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 -bye. Good to see you. <laughs> wow, a new neighbor. That's great. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs>